Hello guys, welcome to eMini project. In this mini project, we'll make a personal weather station that sends data to thingspeak.com. So let's get started. So what all things are we going to need? From component side, we'll need a BMP 180 pressure and temperature sensor, DHT11 humidity sensor, LDR light in intensity sensor, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, and uh, firmware ready Wi-Fi module, an Arduino, Nan Arduino Nano, LM2596 based buck converter, two resistors namely 51k and 4.7k a dc jack switch general purpose board 12 volt 2 ampere wall adapter then we'll need a four cross four cross two inch plastic box and from the tool side we'll need a wire stripper screwdriver file glue gun and a hot plate next we need to create a channel on thingspeak.com go to thingspeak.com click on sign up enter user id and your uh, email address give appropriate time zone give proper passwords then click on the chat box that says uh, agreeing terms and conditions and click on create account now click on new channel give appropriate name and some description scroll down click on save channel then click on api keys and note down your right api key next we'll look at the schematic of our personal registration just connect your 6 to 20 volt supply to v in pin of arduino nano and positive input pin of our lm2596 based voltage regulator we'll set it to 3.3 volt for uh, bmp 180 connected vcc and ground to 3.3 volt and ground rail connect uh, scl to a5 and sda to a4 pins of arduino nano for a light intensity sensor connect ldr and resistor in a voltage divider fashion and connect the node to a1 pin for humidity sensor connect its vcc and ground to 3.3 volt and a ground rail connect a pull-up resistor and connect the node to a0 pin of arduino nano for the pins of esp to cc connect vcc and ground to 3.3 volt and ground rail connect chpd to vcc tx to a10 and rx to a11 initially i realized the circuit on a breadboard then i set our LM2596 based voltage regulator's output to 3.3 volt. And then I uploaded the code to Arduino Nano. So let's look at the code. Code of personal weather station is fairly simple, just a bunch of uh, library declaration, namely software serial wire, DHT, Adafruit, BMP085, then a bunch of defined variables, then a bunch of objects of the type DHT, Adafruit, uh, underscore BMP085, and software serial. And in these statements, uh, you need to enter your SSID of uh, your network, Wi-Fi network, and the password of your Wi-Fi router, and the uh, API key of your uh, ThingSpeak channel. In the setup part, uh, this part just uh, initializes your ESP8266 module using the soft serial pins. If the debug is set to 1, it also enables your uh, serial monitor. And in the loop part, this is the code that gets uh, repeatedly executed. Uh, first statement is set up ESP8266. This function sets the ESP8266 in the station modes and connect to a Wi-Fi access point. This statement access the value of our sensors and this function uploads the data to thingspeak.com. And following other details of this function, I'm not going into the details. I'll put a link to download the code in the description. And if you have any doubt, you can uh, put the comments in the comment section. Once hardware and software was in place, I started assembling hardware on a PCB using a soldering iron. Once I was once I was done with that, I again verified the functionality of assembled circuit board before I put all the stuff in an enclosure. I connected uh, LDR and our LM2596 based voltage regulator at its input and uh, output ports. I checked the circuit for shorts and then finally powered on the circuit and thankful everything worked properly. Now it was time to put all the things inside our enclosure. I took measurements of our DHT11 sensor, of our, uh, I took measurements for our BMP 180 sensors and took measurements for our LDR. Then I used hot blade and uh, to make proper grooves. And I used file to remove the extra protrusion, extra protrusion on the board to get a smooth holes. And here are some of the results. Then I finally put everything inside the enclosure and used hot, hot glue gun to put the stuff together. Finally screwed the top lid and there we have our 
personal registration. So finally we have a personal registration transferring data faithfully to Thingspeak. That's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Check out my previous videos. I'll be back soon with another video. Till then, take care and as always, thanks for watching.